The Miracle Technique Regaining Long Lost Listening Skills The trouble with starting accent training after you know a great deal of English is that you know a great deal about English. You have a lot of preconceptions and, unfortunately, misconceptions about the sound of English. A child can learn any language. Every sound of every language is within every child. So what happens with adults? People learn their native language and stop listening for the sounds that they never hear, and then they lose the ability to hear those sounds. Later, when you study a foreign language, you learn a lot of spelling rules that take you still further away from the real sound of that language, in this case, English. What we're going to do here is teach you to hear again. So many times you've heard what a native speaker said, translated it into your own accent, and repeated it with your accent. Why? Because you knew how to say it. Exercise 149. Tell me what I say. The first thing you're going to do is write down exactly what I say. It'll be nonsense to you for two reasons. First, because I'll be saying sound units, not word units. Second, because I'll be starting at the end of the sentence instead of the beginning. Listen carefully and write down exactly what you hear, regardless of meaning. The first sound is given to you. Chur. Chur. Nay. Vaughn. Prue. Whim. Two. Temp. Z. Man. Diz. R. Once you've written it down, check with the version below. Read it aloud to yourself and try to hear what the regular English is. Don't look ahead until you've figured out the sense of it. Art is man's attempt to improve on nature. Frequently, people will mistakenly hear are these instead of art is. Not only are the two pronunciations different, but the intonation and meaning would also be different. Art is man's attempt to improve on nature. Are these man's attempts to improve on nature? Exercise 150. Listening for pure sounds. Again, listen carefully and write the sounds you hear. The answers are below. Sunt. Ra. Fo. Snow. Ha. Dur. Laugh. The second one. Ert. Za. Ni. D. Quell. Were. Third. Gen. N. Lur. T. Chiz. T. T. Here are the answers. One. Laughter has no foreign accent. 2. Work well done is art. 3. To teach is to learn again. Exercise 151. Extended Listening Practice. Let's do a few more pure sound exercises to fine-tune your ear. Remember, start at the end and fill in the blanks right to left, then read them back left to right. Write whichever symbols are easiest for you to read back. There are clues sprinkled around for you and all the answers are in the answer key beginning on page 193. 1. Bull S Pa Doll F I Date Duh V. Ha. T. Like. I. Two. Dird. Core. 
bear, dits, fray, m, i, three, gen, d, v, ver, wo, go, let's, four. Rower, ther, n, r, fur, doff, d, p, d, try, five, dur, ray, per, ra. Ther, ya, with the, ver, do, ki, ta, six, dud, day, nup, bi, fall, tsa, count, ya. The seven blum pra the bout sa fac ma da sen eight dit bow ka thing ven Knee, do, nine, yit, k, low, p, ho, we, ten, take, miss, k, may, few, d, spa. The one chew pu li ri hill. Here are the answers. One, I'd like to have it at eight if at all possible. Two, I'm afraid it's back ordered. Three, let's go over it again. Four, try to put it off for another hour. Five, talk it over with the other operator. Six, the accounts have all been updated. Seven, send him a fax about the problem. Eight, don't even think about it. Nine, we hope he'll okay it. Ten, he'll really put you on the spot if you make a mistake. Reduce sounds, the downside of intonation. Reduced sounds are all those extra sounds created by an absence of lip, tongue, jaw, and throat movement. They're a principal function of intonation and are truly indicative of the American sound. Exercise 152, Reducing Articles. The man... A girl, the apple, an orange, the best, a banana, the egg, an opening, the last one, a computer, the easy way, an interview. Exercise 153. Read aloud from the right-hand column. The intonation is marked for you. Two. Today. Tonight. Tomorrow. To work. To school. To the store. We have to go now. He went to work. They hope to find it. I can't wait to find out. We don't know what to do. 
Don't jump to conclusions. To be or not to be. He didn't get to go. He told me to help. She told you to get it. I go to work. At a quarter to two. The only way to get it is. You've got to pay to get it. We plan to do it. Let's go to lunch. The score was four to six. It's the only way to do it, so to speak. I don't know how to say it. Go to page eight. Show me how to get it. You need to know when to do it. Who's to blame? At. We're at home. I'll see you at lunch. Dinner's at five. Leave him at the door. The meeting's at one. He's at the post office. They're at the bank. I'm at school. I'll see you at eleven. He's at a meeting. She laughed at his idea. One at a time. We got it at an auction. The show started at eight. The dog jumped out at us. I was at a friend's house. It. Can you do it? Give it to me. Buy it tomorrow. It can wait. Read it twice. Forget about it. Give it a try. Let it alone. Take it away. I got it in London. What is it about? Let's try it again. Look, there it is. Four. This is for you. It's for my friend. A table for four, please. We planned it for later. For example, for instance, what is this for? What'd you do it for? Who'd you get it for? From. It's from the IRS. I'm from Arkansas. There's a letter from Bob. This letter's from Alaska. Who's it from? Where are you from? In. It's in the bag. What's in it? I'll be back in a minute. This movie. Who's in it? Come in. He's in America. N. He's an American. I got an A in English. He got an F in algebra. He had an accident. We want an orange. He didn't have an excuse. I'll be there in an instant. It's an easy mistake to make. And, ham and eggs. Bread and butter. Coffee, with cream and sugar. No, lemon and sugar. And some more cookies. They kept going back and forth. We watched it again and again. He did it over and over. We learned by trial and error. Or, soup or salad. Now or later. More or less. Left or right. For here to go. Are you going up or down? R. What are you doing? Where are you going? What are you planning on doing? How are you? Those are no good. How are you doing? The kids are still asleep. Your. How's your family? Where are your keys? You're American, aren't you? Tell me when you're ready. Is this your car? You're late again, Bob. Which one is yours? One. Which one is better? One of them is broken. I'll use the other one. I like the red one, Edwin. That's the last one. The next one will be better. Here's one for you. 
Let them go one by one. The. It's the best. What's the matter? What's the problem? I have to go to the bathroom. Who's the boss around here? Give it to the dog. Put it in the drawer. Uh. It's a present. You need a break. Give him a chance. Let's get a new pair of shoes. Can I have a Coke, please? Is that a computer? Where's a public telephone? Of. It's the top of the line. It's a state of the art printer. As a matter of fact, get out of here. Practice all of the time. Today's the first of May. What's the name of that movie? That's the best of all. Some of them. All of them. Most of them. None of them. Any of them. The rest of them. Can. Can you speak English? I can only do it on Wednesday. A can opener can open cans. Can I help you? Can you do it? We can try it later. I hope you can sell it. No one can fix it. Let me know if you can find it. Had. Jack had had enough. Bill had forgotten again. What had he done to deserve it? We'd already seen it. He'd never been there. Had you ever had one? Where'd he hidden it? Bob said he'd looked into it. Would. He would have helped if. Would he like one? Do you think he'd do it? Why would I tell her? We'd see it again if. He'd never be there on time. Would you ever have one? Was. He was only trying to help. Mark was American. Where was it? How was it? That was great. Who was with you? She was very clear. When was the War of 1812? What? What time is it? What's up? What's on your agenda? What do you mean? What'd you mean? What'd you do about it? What took so long? What do you think of this? What'd you do then? I don't know what he wants. Some. Some are better than others. There are some leftovers. Let's buy some ice cream. Could we get some other ones? Take some of mine. Would you like some more? Do you like some more? Do you have some ice? Do you have some ice? Exercise 154. Intonation and pronunciation of that. That is a special case because it serves three different grammatical functions. The relative pronoun and the conjunction are reducible. The demonstrative pronoun cannot be reduced to a schwa. It must stay a. Ah. Relative pronoun. The car that she ordered is red. Conjunction. He said that he liked it. Demonstrative. Why did you do that? Combination. I know that he'll read that book that I told you about. Exercise 155. Crossing out reduced sounds. Pause the CD and cross out any sound that's not clearly pronounced, including to, for, and, that, then, the, uh, the soft i, and unstressed syllables that do not have strong vowel sounds. Exercise 156. Reading reduced sounds. Repeat the paragraph after me. Although you're getting rid of the vowel sounds, you want to maintain a strong intonation and let the sounds flow together. For the first reading of this paragraph, it's helpful to keep your teeth clenched together to reduce excess jaw and lip movement. Let's begin. Hello, my name is Anne. I'm taking American accent training. There's a lot to learn. 
but I hope to make it as enjoyable as possible. I should pick up on the American intonation pattern pretty easily, although the only way to get it is to practice all the time. I use the up and down or peaks and valleys intonation more than I used to. I've been paying attention to pitch, too. It's like walking down a staircase. I've been talking to a lot of Americans lately, and they tell me that I'm easier to understand. Anyway, I could go on and on, but the important thing is to listen well and sound good. Well, what do you think? Do I? Word groups and phrasing. Pauses for related thoughts, ideas, or for breathing. By now, you've begun developing a strong intonation with clear peaks and reduced valleys, so you're ready for the next step. You may find yourself reading the paragraph in Exercise 115 like this. Hello, my name is so-and-so. I'm taking American accent training. There's a lot to learn, but I hope to make it as enjoyable as possible. If so, your audience won't completely comprehend or enjoy your presentation. In addition to intonation, there's another aspect of speech that indicates meaning. This can be called phrasing or tone. Have you ever caught just a snippet of a conversation in your own language and somehow known how to piece together what came before or after the part you heard? This has to do with phrasing. In a sentence, phrasing tells the listener where the speaker is at the moment, where the speaker is going, and if the speaker is finished or not. Notice that the intonation stays on the nouns. Exercise 157. Phrasing. Repeat after me. Dogs eat bones. Dogs eat bones, but cats eat fish. Or, as we all know, dogs eat bones. Dogs eat bones, kibbles, and meat. Do dogs eat bones? Do dogs eat bones? Dogs eat bones, don't they? Dogs eat bones, don't they? He asked if dogs ate bones. Do dogs eat bones, he asked. Exercise 158. Creating Word Groups Break the paragraph into natural word groups. Mark every place where you think a pause is needed with a slash. Pause the CD to do your marking. Exercise 159, Practicing Word Groups. When I read the paragraph this time, I'll exaggerate the pauses. Although we're working on word groups here, remember, I don't want you to lose your intonation. Repeat each sentence group after me. Hello. My name is Anne. I'm taking American accent training. There's a lot to learn, but I hope to make it as enjoyable as possible. I should pick up on the American intonation pattern pretty easily, although the only way to get it is to practice all of the time. I use the up and down or peaks and valleys intonation more than I used to. I've been paying attention to pitch Two. It's like walking down a staircase. I've been talking to a lot of Americans lately, and they tell me that I'm easier to understand. Anyway, I could go on and on, but the important thing is to listen well and sound good. Well, what do you think? Do I? Next, back up the CD and practice the word groups three times using strong intonation. Then, pause the CD and practice three more times on your own. When reading, your pauses should be neither long nor dramatic, just enough to give your listener time to digest what you're saying. Exercise 160, Tag Endings. 
Pause the CD and complete each sentence with the tag ending. Use the same verb but with the opposite polarity. Positive becomes negative and negative becomes positive. Then repeat after me. Check the answer key beginning on page 193. Pronunciation. Did he? Does he? Was he? Has he? Is he? Will he? Would he? Can he? Wouldn't you? Shouldn't I? Won't he? Didn't he? Hasn't he? Wouldn't he? Isn't he? Isn't it? Doesn't it? Aren't I? Won't you? Don't you? Can't you? Could you? Would you? 1. The new clerk is very slow, isn't he? 2. But he can improve, can he? 3. She doesn't type very well, does she? 4. They lost their way, didn't they? 5. You don't think so, do you? 6. I don't think it's easy, is it? 7. I'm your friend, aren't I? 8. You won't be coming, will you? 9. He keeps the books, doesn't he? 10. We have to close the office, don't we? 11. We've closed the office, haven't we? 12. We had to close the office, didn't we? 13. We had the office closed, didn't we? 14. We'd already closed the office, hadn't we? 15. We'd better close the office, hadn't we? 16. We'd rather close the office, wouldn't we? 17. The office is closed, hasn't it? 18. You couldn't tell, could you? 19. You'll be working late tonight, won't you? 20. He should have been here by now, shouldn't he? 21. He should be promoted, shouldn't he? 22. I didn't send the fax, did I? 23. I won't get a raise this year, will I? 24. You use the computer, don't you? 25. You're used to the computer, aren't you? 26. You used to use the computer, didn't you? 27. You never used to work Saturdays, did you? 28. That's better, isn't it? The basic techniques introduced in this chapter are pitch, stress, the staircase, and musical notes, reduced sounds, word groups, and phrasing. In chapters 2 through 13, we refine and expand this knowledge to cover every sound of the American accent.